Breaking news right now, a heated debate is underway between the city council, the firefighters union and the Department of Justice. Okay, activities Alex Boyer is there now. Alex, what can you tell us? Yeah, well, Austin firefighters showing their strength in numbers. Check it out, a live look right now inside council chambers where over 200 people are packed inside for this very lively and heated meeting. Firefighters in the union spent the last 45 minutes speaking one after another, demanding council members to vote down a measure they say will lead to as much as a five-year hiring freeze. Now, it stems from a federal investigation that determined the Austin Fire Department's hiring practices discriminated against minorities. Council could avoid this lawsuit by formally agreeing to the terms provided by the Department of Justice. But if they do, the union is promising legal action that could lead to that five-year hiring freeze. Now, we're staying on top of this developing story. We'll let you know what happens. Meanwhile, also tonight here in council chambers, another closely watched issue, the ride share program. Now, it took three times to pass, but this time council members considered over 18,000 signatures, but it's not a done deal. Over the next six months, they'll determine if ride share should stay or get out of town. Heather Ross has a hard time getting around town. I actually had a seizure and it hit a concrete pillar. The impact left the 28-year-old with two screws and pins in her ankle. Ross's epilepsy also means she can't drive. If I needed to go anywhere, um, someone would have to take me. Which is why she's revved up about council's decision to move forward with a pilot rideshare program. Because it can pick you up wherever, and with, um, with a taxi, it's like, Yes, those are available, but there's only, you know, so many. But Austin's three cab companies warn against the repercussions. Look at their terms of services. You tell me if they're looking out for the interest of the consumer. Edward Carbo is referring to Lyft's terms of service, which says the rideshare company cannot ensure that a driver or rider is who he or she claims to be or that the driver will actually complete an arranged service. We're local. We're going to be here. We've got outsiders coming in wanting to change our rules. So again, one uh, issue, the rideshare program pretty much settled tonight. But as you take a live look inside council chambers, they're burning the midnight oil. No telling when this issue involving the firefighters and the Department of Justice could be settled. We, of course, will be here until it's over. Reporting live tonight inside City Hall, Alex Boyer, KITV News.